Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Disconcern the truth. The problem with making assumptions is that we believe they are true. They are the truth. We make the assumption, we misunderstand, we take it personally, then we react by sending emotional poison with our word. And this creates what? This recreates a whole big drama for nothing. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 274, Nasdaq's up 269, S&P's up 56, gold contract trading up uh, $24.70 at 18.73 an ounce. You got silver up 43 cents, twenty-two dollars thirty-five cents an ounce. Light sweet crude, where are you? Up a buck and a half, one hundred and sixteen dollars seventy-eight cents a barrel. Platinum up twenty-eight bucks, thousand twenty-five. That reached that got over the thousand point today. About time. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note up six ticks, trading one eighteen twenty-six. The thirty-year up two at one thirty-eight twenty-one. And King Dollar. King Dollar is down six hundred ninety-two ticks, trading out at one hundred one eight zero six. Euro is one hundred seven. Yen is at 129.85, and the British pound is at 125 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you get a nice run, the top side, no doubt about that. Uh, what I expect we're going to see here, however, is that, you know, the high of yesterday in the SPY, folks, is 416.24. Well, we got the 415.80, and right now you're at 415.38. I suspect this thing is going to start backing off, and I'll show you why. Because if we go to the queues, we take a look at the queues. I can do it with the S&P, too, but since I'm in the queues, then and it's a better, well, it, it's something I've been looking at all day. So, and the queues, what you have is this. The queues right now are trading 313.11. You hit 313.74. That, the high of yesterday was 3. 12.65. So the bottom line, you're over that high. Now let's go into the end queues, right? Because this is where it gets really intriguing. And you're going to see how this baby is shaking out. So we take a look at the end queues, what you're going to see. What there? Okay, so I'll bring this out so you can see it a lot better. Okay, so the high of yesterday. Uh, yeah, so watch this, folks. So the high of yesterday, that, that was established at, uh, what's that, 9.50. So you had... 12,823, okay? We, at that particular point, were right there, at actually, 28,000 contracts. And then, it was at the open, yeah, the open, you had uh, 33, but just 28,000. So watch what happens here. We go straight up all day. The last time that we had any volume, the bar, the top of that bar was 12,773, the low of that bar is 12,722. Now that's where I expect we're gonna be in the next, let's say 15, 20 minutes. Because why? Because this whole area up there, you went up on, um, yeah, I mean, you hit a high with 4,000, no, 6,900 contracts. Now watch what happened though. This is where inside time in the trade, you're looking at both sides of the market, meaning as you go up, as you go down. And so what ends up happening, what do you see? Watch this. Bang, the first sell comes down, it comes down with 10,000 contracts after making the high with 6,000. Then you got at a lower low with 9,600, and now what's happening, you got a little bounce up here, and this is only a minute into the bounce, but I expect what you're gonna see here, this little bounce will have less than 10,000. That's building a little cause right down to this next point. We'll see, um, you know, bottom line, if there's more selling than that. I expect this is the same situation that whether you're going down or up, it's going to end up a sideways day. So we go into the S&Ps. We take a look at the S&Ps out here. What you have inside the S&Ps, okay, so that you had a spike high yesterday. That spike high was 4165. Well, we hit 4160, okay? Now watch, same setup. That, that high there had uh, 77,000 contracts. You bring this down. 
the high was made with 13,000. <laughs> yeah, you heard that right. Then you come off the high with 23,000 and 25,000. And, you know, bottom line, that when you see something like that, what, what I've done is this. When I come up with these numbers, folks, I just go back to the last place that we had any volume. And, and the S&Ps, it's uh, right there. What is number is that? That's 4136. So right now you're at 4157. So you get 20 points on the way down. We'll see where it gets. Because that's the last time there was any juice on the upside. You know, we're coming into the close. You're coming into Friday. All of the above. This morning, so you had Microsoft, the MSFT. They come out this morning saying, hey, listen, some of our numbers are going to be a little down uh, market-wise out here. We had Microsoft got down to 261, and guess what? Rejected it. You know, bottom line, you know, we'll see whether Microsoft can get any juice going. We take this and we look at this on a weekly basis. What you have out here is that you got a uh, high volume that's just laying out here, man. <laughs> you know, you got support at this level, but Microsoft's office high of uh, 349. You hit a low two weeks ago of uh, 246. I expect it's going to be right back down into that level. Um, gold, you know, bottom line is that, uh, yeah, we can just look at a few of these. They're, they're, they're blowing away their B points with volume. If you go take a look at Alamos, um, Bottom line, same setup. You know, you're going to see nice move. I mean, for an $8 stock, it's, it's pretty wild. You're up 68 cents. Just blows away. 780 is the B point. 3.1 million to get uh, 3.8 million. EXK, I think you can almost bring up any, any one, not any one of them, but quite a few of them. You got uh, Endeavor Silver, same type of setup. And, you know, what this is, now this is where this gets intriguing, folks. And what it is is this. So picture that this is really the last day of window dressing. And you can see what's happening out here inside of the gold market is that the, you know, they talk a lot about rotation, okay? Well, you can see what's happening. That as they do that rotation, bottom line, you get, this is not you and I coming in there getting that much volume this quickly because the, the volumes are gonna be big today. That's funds that are saying, hey, guess what? I'm gonna get in the gold market, get in those equities and see if I can get anything out of it. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow up to 91, NASDAQ up to 82, S&P's up 59. We'll come right back.